Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we are going to explain the concept of interrupt, which is very important feature of the PIC microcontroller. Consider this is the instructions programs installed inside the microcontroller. Uh, so you can see the generation of interrupt. The program, uh, the uh, uh, CPU will execute each instructions uh, step by step. So it is a normal execution of the program. And this then, this is the first, it, this is 0, 0, H, 0, 0, 0, 1, H, 0, 4, H, 0, 3, H, and this way, this way, these are the addresses of the different instructions which have been installed in the um, flash memory of the microcontroller and during execution it is uh, have been stored, it has been stored in the RAM of the microcontroller. Uh, programmer will, uh, the, the CPU will execute each program step by step, but whenever their interrupt uh, event request arrives, so the current, the microcontroller will uh, execute, run the current instructions, then push the address of the next next instruction in the, in the stock, uh, and it will jump to the interrupt vector here, 04H. 04H jumped here. How much time it takes uh, during uh, the response to the interrupt? It takes about uh, three to four instruction cycle time. As you can see, here's the normal clock, of the uh, oscillator clock is the instruction clock which consists of four uh, of, of, uh, oscillation, oscillation, clock, oscillation clock one instruction clock is equal to four uh, oscillation, oscillation clock and this is the interrupt pin uh, so when interrupt occurred uh, after uh, interrupt flag will be raised after one clock cycle or two clock cycle uh, but this will be this will show the interrupt latency you can see the one cycle, two cycle, three to four cycle. It takes three to four cycle for interrupt to uh, to give response to the interrupt. Uh, so we'll jump to the interrupt vector. In the interrupt vector, uh, there will be address of the interrupt service routine. And the interrupt service routine, which you, what you have written there, what order, what command you have given to the microcontroller, the, the, then the microcontroller will interrupt, it will ex execute the, ex the interrupt uh, service routine. After completing the interrupt service routine, you have to clear the interrupt flag by the software, and uh, uh, otherwise the interrupt service routine will loop here in this, in, in this uh, program, and the interrupt service routine, it will not uh, come out from this uh, service routine. Uh, so you have to clear the interrupt flag. After that, it will uh, return file. It will pop um, the it will pop the address. Uh, again, pop the address of the next instructions from the stack, and it will uh, uh, start the execution of the normal program. This is the basic con concept of the interrupt service routine. So how to configure the um, microcontroller to in order to avail the interrupt service routine uh, routine features? So this is the PIC16 F616 microcontroller. Uh, you have to provide the plus 5 volt here and plus 14 should be VSS ground one. RA2 Pro is the interrupt service routine, uh, routine interrupt button, interrupt pins. So we have to uh, configure R2 is the input. Uh, uh, then uh, we RC, for example, we, we are going to make RC1, RC2 is the output um, to show the uh, simulation, the demo simulation of the interrupt service machine. And you then need to connect VPP with VDT with 10 kilo ohm. So for uh, configuration of the interrupt service machine routine, we need uh, have to we have to configure the optional register. Uh, optional register has to be configured. In an optional register, in optional register, there are eight pins, but we have to configure only two pins. One is the uh, RA pull up, port A pull up enable bit. Um, if you are using the internal resistance of the microcontroller, then you have to uh, set this pin. You have to put zero. Port A pulls are enabled by individual port A. Uh, uh, so the internal, what's the in, in, internal resistors? You can see here. Mm, here you can see. This is the port A, for example. This people port A. These are the internal resistors. You can uh, enable it or disable it. If you disable this resistance, because whenever a pin is configured as an input, it always needs a, a resistor to be attached to the VCC. 
this depends on you whether you want to use the internal one or external one if you are using the internal one then you have to put here mm, here you have to put uh, r a p u is equal to 0 and if you are using the the external ones this one then you have to put it one and here uh, you have to put uh, port uh, r a p u is equal to 1 then you can use the external resistance uh, resistance the second of uh, register which you have to be configured is the int cop interrupt configuration there are many there are eight pins uh, but you have to configure only three one one is the global interrupt enable second is interrupt enable fourth is interrupt flag so you have to configure these pins then you can you are able to use the interrupt solution let's go to the code c codes how to write c code for it so it is a simple uh, configuration bit you to configure the uh, configuration bit fos is equal to internal let we are using watch your timer is off power up your timer is on and master clear is on brown on detect is on code protection is off in this way then you have to configure the uh, include xc h and define crystal frequency oscillator after that you have to write a, a, a function for the interrupt service routine for example here we are uh, using the interrupt as the uh, wired interrupt learn we are using this is the interrupt functions interrupt service routine and uh, we give this name is a learn uh, so whenever uh, we start uh, the interrupt service routine we have to clear the interrupt flag otherwise it will ex start executing here and the loop it will make a loop then after that we have to read uh, we have to write if ra2 is equal to 0 if ra2 is equal to 0 uh, then we have to delay 100 millisecond uh, why 100 millisecond we want to wait in order to uh, debounce the to remove the debounce effect bouncing effect and order to debounce whenever we press a switch so it produces a bounces so in order to remove the bounces here as you can see when I push the button it produces a bounces and uh, the, it, will, it will produce different signals and order to avoid these uh, vibrations or oscillations we have to um, delay about 100 millisecond so while r2 is equal to 0 what is r2 this is the uh, button this one is r2 r we are using r2 is an input uh, r2 is 0 rc2 will be 1 and we have to delay 500 millisecond half second then rc2 is equal to 0 when uh, r2 is equal to 0 uh, we can see RC2 will be uh, blinking. RC2 will be blinking. Otherwise, if the, there is no interrupt service routine, then RC1 will be blinking. After that, we have to write the main function and n cell is equal to 0 plus 0, 0, which means all the uh, inputs are digital. Test A2 is input. Uh, n RPU uh, is equal to 1. N means, uh, n means negative which means it has a bar and show this bars one you can, you can see here uh, this one is bar shown by the n so global interrupt is 1 interrupt flag is equal to 0 interrupt number is equal to 1 so we stop interrupt you have to compile this code so then we have to run here and the real pick simulator Build successfully. Run it here. You can see. You have to run the code. For example, no RC1 is uh, blinking. RC1 is blinking. But when you press the interrupt button, R, uh, which is the RA2, the red one. No, the red one is blinking here. You can see. Again, the yellow one is blinking. The main function. But when you press the interrupt service routine and you can see here the red one is blinking because the red one is in the interrupt service routine which is RC2 as you can see at the code in the interrupt service routine RC2 is blinking but uh, yellow one RC1 is the main function as RC1 is the RC1 is in the main function so it is a, it is a brief introduction to the interrupt service routine Thank you for watching our video.